Hey, thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to talk about purchasing a fiber laser and what does that look like. I started my research about three months ago. I knew I wanted a fiber laser, but I had no idea what that process looked like. How did I get it ordered? How did I pay for it? How long does it uh, take to show up? And so as I was looking through the different fiber forums, I saw a handful of companies that kind of bubbled to the top. And that's what you want to do. You want to do your research. You want to be comfortable with who you're going to go with. And some of the things that were important to me during this process was, were the people responsive? Meaning that I had a lot of questions before I purchased this because I really didn't know what I wanted. And so you want a company that, uh, you know, will take the time to answer your questions, um, maybe tell you some things that you didn't even know because you don't know what you don't know, right? So one of those things is to make sure that you pick a company that's patient, that is not going to kind of force you into a purchase. One thing that I uh, really enjoyed about my process was the company that I went with uh, had no pressure whatsoever. Matter of fact, they told me to uh, every time I corresponded with them to take your time. We want to make sure you're happy. So I felt that I wasn't pressured uh, to make a decision um, and I just kept doing more and more and more research until I decided what I wanted. That's going to be unique to each and every individual based on what you want to create with your fiber laser. Uh, I went uh, with Pascal and I'll give you the link to his company uh, in the description. And what I will tell you as I went along the way is I probably went back and forth with him probably 20 different times before I uh, really started to get serious about the purchase of my fiber laser. And every single time I had a question or a concern, um, it was dealt with quickly. And if for some reason he didn't have the answer, he reached out to his engineer that got right back to me. And so that was huge to me because um, I hadn't committed to buy a laser at that particular point in time. And uh, yet he was still providing uh, great customer service. So as we went along and I finally decided what I wanted to buy, I purchased a 60 watt JPT MOPA fiber laser. And um, as I was going along, I still had many questions on, uh, you know, how does this all work? And so the way it typically happens is once you kind of work out the laser that you want, the lenses that you want to buy extra, um, most of the time, most of the packages come with, you know, your, your eye protection software, a couple of lenses, the basic stuff that you need to get started. Um, and uh, if you buy extras, they just add that on. And so I had a complete running list and an invoice uh, that listed all of my different expenses uh, right up front, which included air freight to the United States. Um, which I thought was was great. So uh, when we got down to where uh, it was time to make the decision and pay for it, that's where the anxiety for me started to rise because I really didn't want to, uh, you know, send a check or do a money order for sixty five hundred dollars when I really didn't know, you know, what that trans uh, action looked like, and so. What I was pleasantly surprised by is in this particular case, I wanted to pay through PayPal. The reason why I did that is I had two forms of protection. I had PayPal protection and then the account that my PayPal was tied to was a credit card, a business credit card. And so I had that protection as well. And so when you do that, at least with the company that I went with, you would need to create a, uh, an account with Alibaba which was no big deal. I put in basically a, a, my uh, email address and a password. I didn't have to provide any financial information. Basically, that was it, email and password. And I had created uh, an Alibaba account. And the way that works is uh, Pascal loads in a quote uh, into your Alibaba account. And then all you've got to do is go in, uh, open it up in your account in Alibaba, click to pay for it, go to PayPal, do your transaction, and uh, it was very smooth. Matter of fact, I got that all done, 
and uh, I had a notification from Pascal within an hour that said that they had received the funds and that they will go ahead and go forward and build the, build the machine. Um, the other thing that I will tell you that you want to make sure you do if you follow this process is you want to call your bank uh, where your credit card is because what will happen is they're going to see a fairly large expenditure on your credit card through PayPal and they're probably going to flag it for fraud just because it's very unusual activity, it's in another country. Uh, and so what I did is I contacted my bank before I, uh, before I did the pal, PayPal transaction and alerted them that, hey, this is how much it was going to be. This is the company that was going to be charging that uh, amount. And uh, they flagged the account to make sure that uh, that was noted and it went through no, pro no problem at all. And so the payment process for paying for a fiber laser was really easy. I created an Alibaba account, went in there, paid with it through PayPal, um, and that part of it was about as easy as uh, ordering you know, something off of Amazon. It was really pretty easy. So once we had the uh, fiber laser paid for, um, I got confirmation that it was paid for, it was in process, and what happened next was usually they will send you some pictures. Uh, they don't, apparently they don't build these machines until they have an order form. And so once they get the machine built, they will send you pictures of what your machine looks like, all the components. Uh, the other thing that I will tell you that's really nice is they will uh, go ahead and generate your your settings that you need and they put a sticker right on the side of the machine. This is some of the settings. It's similar to a scan offset on the CO2 side, but they're uh, distortion values for your lenses and you'll have to key that into your software. Well, they do that for you and stick it on a sticker right next to the machine. So when you get to uh, putting in your configuration of your system in your software, EasyCAD in this particular case, um, you can just put these uh, distortion values in and you're good to go. So let's talk a little bit about timing. From the time I ordered and paid for my fiber laser till the time it showed up on my front door was 11 business days. And we had a little, uh, a few days delay because they were having problems over at UPS uh, with some COVID stuff. So 11 days, 11 business days from the time I ordered it till the time it showed up on my front doorstep. I thought that was incredible. Um, and so one of the things that, that was kind of a surprise to me, um, when it showed up, uh, it showed up in a crate and it, you know, I'm used to the CO2 crates that are monstrous, right? Well, the fiber crate uh, is about 31 by 21 by 21. So it's not very big, it's fairly compact, weighs a little over 100 pounds. As a matter of fact, I was expecting maybe a, a special freight truck or something like that to deliver it. But in fact, the, the regular UPS guy that delivers to us all the time delivered it and set it right in front of the garage and away he went. I didn't even know they delivered it until I went out front. So delivery was nothing special compared to uh, what you would normally get. So that was a pleasant experience for sure. Let's talk a little bit about when I was unpacking this uh, and you know trying to figure out what all these parts were, I was shocked at how much this weighed. I mean, it looks like it's just a normal uh, computer tower, right? But it's not. It's, uh, you notice that it's got two big, very st uh, stout handles that are built into the top of that. This is much, much heavier than a normal computer tower. So just keep that in mind when you're planning on where this thing is gonna go. You wanna make sure that you're setting this on something that's very sturdy. I'm guessing it's probably 40, pl uh, 40 pounds plus. It's, it's heavy. And so when you go to take it out of the, out of the uh, crate, um, be careful because it's a lot heavier than you expect. Couple of other things to keep in mind when you're taking this out of the crate is you see that big black cord that comes from your tower to the back of your fiber uh, arm, uh, that all has to stay connected. And so it's one of those deals, there's very little assembly that has to happen once you get your machine. All you're really doing is bolting this tower to your plate and your, uh, your laser arm here uh, 
to the ta to the elevation tower, and that's it. I mean, the uh, the assembly process um, took me about 20 minutes. Um, we had to do some alignment, that kind of stuff. That didn't take any time, but there's really not a lot of assembly that you have to do. The majority of it's already put together. It's very well packed. Usually, um, right before I received my machine, I got a, a bunch of information from Pascal on uh, about a six or seven minute video on kind of what's gonna happen next, um, the process in what you need to do in following, uh, installing your software, installing the drivers, um, basically the things that you're gonna have to input into EasyCAD um, to get this thing operational. And that was really straightforward, no big deal at all. Uh, it also comes in printed form. You can go on their website, print it out, and it'll show you step by step by step on how to put this together. It was very easy. I will tell you that it's probably best to have two people when you're uh, kind of putting this thing together. And the only reason I say that is you do not want to kink this cable right here. Uh, it's critical. So you've got to kind of pay attention to when you're taking it out of the crate and putting this together. Um, it's just safer if you have two people to make sure that, uh, you know, you're not doing anything you shouldn't. But assembly was really a piece of cake. It was uh, very easy. The information that was provided was illustrated well, and uh, that part of it was no big deal at all. Um, and so at that point, it was time to go ahead and load the information into the software and fire it up for the first time. Next, let's talk a little bit about software and what you have to use and what's on the horizon. Right now, um, you're, you need to use EasyCAD uh, 2. Uh, with this particular machine and it's older software. It's a little clunky, especially if you're not used to CAD type software um, and So learning a new software uh, Although a little painful. It's you know something that you've got to do One thing that I'm really looking forward to is hopefully by the end of June first part of July Lightburn Galvo will be released and I've had the opportunity to use that beta uh, software and it's fantastic. Uh, I personally believe that the fiber market is going to explode once that's released because I've used EasyCAD 2 and and Lightburn and there you know there is no comparison. Uh, Lightburn is so much easier to use um, and it's much easier to design in Lightburn than it is in e EasyCAD from what I've seen. But looking forward to that, I think that's going to make life a lot easier for a lot of people. And I'm really excited about that, uh, that really upcoming release. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a simple process on what it looks like, how it shows up, those kind of things. I hope this information was helpful. And I'd sure appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up, give me a like. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. We're at uh, almost 15,000 subscribers now. Couldn't be more excited about that. And if you have the ability, uh, hit that thanks button and contribute to the channel. It's those contributions that make a big difference on how often I can produce these things. So I really appreciate that. And in closing, I'll show you some of the simple things I've made. I've only had this thing a week. Um, and so I'm still learning, still fumbling my way through, but let's uh, put up some pictures of the things that I've made so far. And until next time, thanks and have a great day.